tried plantain again. Yes, plantain guys, not plantain, plantain. Riley Sorrello coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Deptford and I'm gonna be showcasing a place called Mama's Jerk right here in Deptford Market Yard on Deptford High Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. So last week I did Mama Jerks and now I'm here again at the Deptford branch. This time I've gone for their roti, which is supposed to be their all-time favorite. So as you saw last week, I had their own spin on the biryani, the rice and peas with the jerk chicken. It was absolutely phenomenal, very delicious. But I'm being told that their roti actually beats that. What I have noticed is that although the portion is really good, I have to say, Obviously, it's not as beefy as the rice and peas. I also got their fried plantain again. Yes, plantain, guys. Not plantain, plantain. So you guys going crazy in the comments below saying, oh, it's not plantain. It's not, it's not plantain. You're pronouncing it wrong, Riley. I'm an African man, so that's how I'm going to pronounce it. What I noticed about the fried plantain, they look more crispy but they are a smaller portion than the ones in Canary Wharf. You saw the ones in Canary Wharf, it was a lot that they actually packed in there. So this one's slightly less, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain. They provide the mango, mayo, and the barbecue sauce in these. So you saw in Canary Wharf, we had them in these little containers, but here they have it, and you can just pour as much as you want. So that is a benefit from coming to the Deptford branch. So let's see if their mango, mayo, bang just like the one in uh in canary wolf that's good wow the plantain is piping hot i think i prefer the plantain here because it's caught not as big so the tips are very they're very crispy i like the way that they've cooked it you can see you've got the the dark bits and then obviously this bit here is very sweet so you've got a bit of that sweet soft moist delicious plantain and then crispy on the ends absolutely love it i will say that i do actually prefer dunking them so obviously in canary wolf they have them in the the little you know dip containers and you dunk them it's just my preference but uh Still delicious now let's not waste any time i know you guys came to see this video for the roti so let's see if this is really good if it really bangs what is the big fuss about the roti so the first thing i notice is how look how gold look at that golden color of the roti yeah that looks awesome i can't wait to tuck into this guys just trying to get out the wrapping paper. It's been wrapped really, really tight, really snug. This roti doesn't want to come out. All right, here we go. Wow, that's full of flavor. Again, the jerk chicken, the actual sauce is quite sweet. Doesn't have much of a kick. You remember I commented about how the jerk with the rice and peas, the barbecue sauce, wasn't as spicy as the actual dip. So I'm expecting this to have a bit of a kick. Let's try again. Okay, I can taste the sweetness, but I can't, I can't actually taste the kick. 
Okay, it's hitting me now. The kick's there. Temperature, it's it's fairly warm. I did leave it for a while. I did give it some time to cool down a bit, but I think it's still a it's still a good temperature to be served. Really delicious. So you see, you got the fresh salad. Remember, I was banging on about how fresh their salad was. This looks well, tastes very fresh. My only complaint right now is that. I'm struggling to get into this roti because they wrapped it so tight. This can get a bit messy, guys. It's good. On the whole, I will say that I actually do prefer the rice and peas. I don't know. It's more filling. For me, I feel like it's got more going on. You know, you've got the rice, you've got the chicken, you've got the salad. And I like the, the different dips that you can you know, just dunk on top of your rice and peas and you can just enjoy it at your own pace. With this, it's a little bit messy and I guess because it's a roti, there's, there's a limit of how much chicken they can actually pack in there. So I can definitely say with the rice and peas, there's a lot more chicken that you're getting. Having said that, I've only just had one of the wraps. There's still, <laughs> there's still another wrap here for me to devour. Mm. Look at that golden colour. I love the fact that it's not greasy. You know, sometimes you go to a place to get a roti and it could just be really greasy and it just ruins the experience. But this, it's really good. It's very juicy as well. Like it's just dripping all over the place. Look at that. Look at the mess I've made. And this came at eight pounds. I think it's good value, actually. <clears throat> Maybe not as good value as the rice and peas, because like I said, the rice and peas is it's a very, very mighty portion. The rice and peas is eight pounds. The roti is eight pounds. But obviously, if you're not feeling for some rice and you want something a little bit different, I definitely go for this. So with the mango mayonnaise, what I've noticed is that it's slightly more runny. And that makes sense because of the fact that it's in this container. It's just not as Personally, I don't find it as thick as the, the dips that you get at Canary Wharf. And I think that's the, probably the reason why I prefer the mango mayonnaise in Canary Wharf as opposed to the one in Deptford. But having said that, these both still pretty good. And also, by the way, they don't actually charge in the Deptford branch for the dips. Obviously, in Canary Wharf, they charge you 30p each. Look at this big jar of that chili. The, the, I think it's Scotch, Scotch bonnet chilies. I would have had to pay 30p for that as well, but you get it free. So those are the joys from coming to like, you know, not central London, coming to like zone two and whatnot. I think they're for the zone two. Yeah. All right, real quick. <laughs> I need to retract my statement. I'm on to the second roti, nearly done. And it does pack a punch. It's quite filling and I mean, they do stuff a lot inside the roti. It's really filling. I give this place a thumbs up. So guys, if you happen to be in Deptford and you're feeling for some Caribbean food and you want that Caribbean persuasion, head over to Mama Jerks. They're the real deal. I've got no complaints. And actually, I'm looking forward to checking out their branch in Brixton. If you want me to actually review the branch in Brixton and try another offering on their menu, let's try and get at least 200 likes for this video that's going to be the end of this review if you like the video you know what to do smash the like button comment below share the video and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel because i make videos every single week so till next time peace Bwah.